Hey guys, here's a quick video on uh, Nagi's installation, which you could install and uh, utilize it to to monitor your servers and other network devices. Let's go and get started. Here we go. All of the commands are already set up right there, and uh, what we do is we basically cut and paste, and etc. So, anyways, I'm gonna log into my Pi, which is a Linux. And uh, we're going to copy and uh, each command and paste it there. I can put this uh, in the description if you like. And then we will take it from there. But besides that, this is pretty much uh, straightforward because um, I already have the command in line. I don't want to waste your time in typing each one by one. Let's go and copy each one. each one by one. That will speed up the process. So, Okay. We're getting more resources and we are extracting them. And then going to the folder, then listing. Okay, there we go. I'll pause so it can finish. There we go. We're going to go on and do make install. Almost done. Still copying. It's the Raspberry Pi 3. Pretty fast, yet it's taking time for extraction, installation, etc. And configuration. Finally, it's done. Okay, this should be fast. Here we go. As we see the problem right here and we're going to go and fix it we're going to get the updates to fix this problem we're going to get the utilities and uh, sort of the rest of the configuration and libraries and dev that's it let's go and try that Web config again. That should do it. There we go. Choose a new password for Nagio's admin account, which you will later on use to log in. CGI. 
good. Okay, let's go and restart it as it says right there. Okay, Maggie is good as well. Now we can just go to the IP and log in. If config, that's our IP. We're going to use that IP and log into Nagios. Okay. There we go. So basically, we're going to use the Nagios admin account. And then the password we just created. This is it. And let's go and take a look at the hosts. Oh wow. Local host is down, so there'll be another troubleshooting which I will do to bring this up. So if you see local host down, even though you refresh and everything, it's not gonna do much. So we're gonna go on and take care of this as well now. Okay, look at maps gonna show down as well let's go and take a look and see what we can do on this one services same problem here we go we're gonna go on and uh, get this uh, command line which I have right here the wget HTTP and that will go on and get the missing plugin etc for this and that should fix the problem again right here and we're gonna extract it so pretty much getting the plugin oh there we go one more trouble right here how to review it this is it that will that will take care of the other stuff and uh, now we have the release which we can extract then we're going to go to that folder and set up the rest and that should bring the um, the local host up Okay. Really need it didn't need the pseudo, but that's fine. Because we already rooted. Okay, it's finishing up. Okay. So make and then make install. Okay, I'll pause the video till it finish. There we go. So pretty much if we could see Windows, Windows would have done the same. So anyways, this configuration is done. Let's go on and do the make. And then sudo make install. And then we are almost there. Gonna pause the video.
Okay. You're pretty much done with all of these commands. And uh, we will go on and test the, the server. And the local host should be up now. Go and take a look at the local host services here. The important ones are up, and the host should be up now. There we go, the local host is up. So, I'll create another video, and that will have uh, information on how to add other hosts to this server for monitoring purposes and that should be it. Thank you for watching and I really hope you like this video. There we go. Last thing I want to show you. Okay.